Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I have been challenged by John Peters to build his modern Japanese style uh, bench, which is perfect because I need a bench for the uh, front porch of my little cabin up at the lake. So I'm going to be taking a stab at it. This is the first time I've ever built something using somebody else's design. Uh, but I'm going to actually put my own little spin on it because that's, that's just what I do. I'm going to be building mine out of Douglas fir as well. Same as what John did because I've got a bunch of scraps kind of laying around the shop here. And so it'll use those up. So without further ado, let's build the bench. So when I resaw really thick boards like this, just to speed up the process and prevent the blade from wandering, because I don't this is only a 110 bandsaw, it doesn't have a lot of power. I cut it with the table saw as deep as I can on each side, and then I just have to cut that little bit out with the bandsaw. Makes resawing it a lot easier. Hey guys, it's once again time for our annual Black Friday Cyber Monday sale. This year we have bundled together 27 of our most popular plans, all with step-by-step -step video tutorials and made them available to you for the whopping good deal of 99 cents. If you're ready to move from consumer to creator, now's the time. Feel free to click the link in the description box below and get started making some awesome projects. Hey Jesse, it's John Peters from over here at John Peters Longview Woodworking. And I'm really excited that you're building the modern bench. I designed that bench a couple of years ago now, and I designed it with my three sons in mind, taking off their boots, kind of going in and out of the house. And it's built pretty long for that reason and strong. And so I'm really excited to see what you do. You're not gonna have any problems with the build. It's a pretty straightforward build especially for somebody like you. And I'd like to see you sort of change up the, the design a little bit, maybe add some of those samurai lines. And it'd be really cool to see that bench one day at the cabin that you're building on the lake. So uh, I hope to see that and even better, maybe I can sit on that bench one day at the cabin on the lake. That would be really cool. So maybe we can make that happen. But in the meantime, have fun with this project and I'll talk to you soon. We got the ends glued up here. I made sure to put a quarter inch round over on the inside edge, just because it might be a little tricky to do after the fact. It might still clear there, but. And I always try to make sure that the cathedrals, which are these kind of points, are always pointing up, because that's the way that the tree grows. And it's kind of a Japanese tradition to always orient the piece of wood as it grew in the tree, right? Pointing up. So John Peters made his legs straight, parallel with each other. I'm putting a five degree slant inward on mine, just cause, you know, dare to be different. I just think the uh, aesthetic appeal might be a little bit more my style, a little less modern. It might even add some strength to the bench. I don't know for sure, but. So I'm just, I got my saw set to five degrees and then I'm just. So it'll just have a little bit of inward slope. All right, time to glue up my bench top here. Got the faces nice and joint. 
Doing it straight, jointed, join, joiner, whatever. Um, yeah, it's gonna pull together nicely. I'm gonna be cutting it shorter, right? So this kind of ugliness at the end don't really bother me right now. claps this way because when all the claps are on one side it wants to bow the wood right because it's the pipes the pipes will even bend if they're really long right because the pressure is all connected to that pipe so you want to kind of have opposing pressure in the opposite direction to keep it flat so Clap that on there, put my router bit in the, and then the bearing will ride right along there. It'll be a nice crisp edge. Doing a bang up job there, Logan. Yeah. The master sweeper. You know, that's how your dad started. I was sweeping and cleaning up on job sites. We all got to start with a broom.
So to attach the bench top, I'm just slotting in these little uh, one inch by three quarter inch thick pieces here. And then I'm gluing and screwing one down into the leg. And then I'm gonna countersink either side and sink some shorter screws up into the top to hold it onto the bench. So I'm just making a bunch of relief cuts with the circular saw here and then chiseling it out. Time to finish her off with a little Odie's oil. Well, thank you so much for the challenge on Peters. I would have to say that your bench has got some pretty sexy lines and I really enjoyed making it my own. If you guys are interested in building a bench like this, it was like a one day build, super easy and pretty awesome looking. I'm, I'm pretty impressed with it. If you wanna get your hands on the plans, be sure to click the link in the description box below. They're available at the Makers Mob. And it's that time of the year, we're doing our Black Friday Cyber Monday sale. So you can get the plans for this bench and many more at the Makers Mob. Just click the link in the description box below.